It's Umsum time! Why are prime numbers so weird? Hmm? Cause they are my brothers. Nah. <laughs> Numbers such as 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on are prime numbers. But these look like ordinary numbers. Why call them weird? We call them weird because there are infinitely many prime numbers. There is no end. So no one can find the biggest prime number. Every time, there will be a bigger one yet to be discovered. Also, did you know that a recently found prime number is so large that if written, it will need 9,000 pages of a book? This means they are so weird and complicated that even our advanced oh. brains cannot decipher them. We need the help of supercomputers. If these numbers are so weird, why do we care so much about them? Because primes are used in credit card transactions, security codes, encrypted emails, etc. Without them, we couldn't securely perform all these tasks. What is depression? It is a five-star hotel deep underwater. As usual, you are wrong. In our life, all of us feel sad or depressed for some time, but that doesn't mean we have depression. Many doctors use a manual named Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders to diagnose oh. depression. It has a list of symptoms which include sadness, worthlessness, hopelessness, changes in appetite, suicidal thoughts, sleep problems, oh. etc. If we have five or more of these symptoms for at least two weeks, then doctors diagnose us with depression. The exact causes of depression are unknown, but studies suggest that people who have depression may have a smaller hippocampus, an area of the brain that regulates emotions. Moreover, genetics might also play a role. Studies have shown that a variation in the serotonin transporter gene makes us more prone to depression. Environmental factors such as coping with the death of our beloved ones, traumatic events, etc. can also cause depression. Hmm. How do microwave ovens work? They work with the help of Iron Man lasers. No. A microwave oven is basically a metal box containing a magnetron. It heats or cooks food much faster and more evenly as compared to a conventional oven. When switched on, the magnetron converts electricity into microwaves. Microwaves penetrate the food and excite water, fat, and sugar molecules, generating heat and thus helping us to heat up or cook the food. Also note that conventional ovens heat the food from outside in. Hence, the outer surface of the food is exposed to heat for a longer time, thus causing the food to cook unevenly. However, in microwave ovens, as microwaves penetrate the food, the food is cooked more evenly in less time. Thus, nutrient loss is less as it is exposed to heat for less amount of time. <laughs> Why does it feel so good to scratch an itch? Cause scratching gives us new ideas. Oh no. <laughs> when there's an allergic reaction or when insects like mosquito bite, the itch receptors of that region send itch signals to the brain. Now, as a protective response, we scratch the itch in order to remove or dislodge the insect or whatever it is on the skin that is causing the itch. In addition to this, scratching also helps reduce the itch sensation. But how? Scratching activates pain receptors. So, the idea is that when we scratch, the neurons in the spinal cord transfer pain signals instead of itch signals to the brain. When the pain signals reach the brain, it releases a neurotransmitter called serotonin, which is a happiness-related chemical to make us feel good and thus dull the pain. In this way, scratching an itch makes us feel good. 